It was Hobbs's mailbox. There was a note hanging out. For a second, I debated the morality of mail snooping. It was a short debate, and I won. I decided to open the letter. Dear Mr. Hobbs, due to previous incidents, we are writing to inform you that we will no longer be sending models to your address. It went on to discuss Hobbs's temper and other alleged infractions, some of which still carry the death sentence in certain less sophisticated cultures. Interesting. This could come in useful. Slasha. I popped open the van's hood. The door was locked. Looking through the window, I could see that there was nothing in the van. Hobbs must have taken the portfolio inside. The engine was held together by rust and dirt. Everything was covered in a sticky film of dirty black oil. Half the wiring wasn't connected to anything. It was one of two horns in the van. It didn't seem to be connected to anything else under the hood. Two wires hung loose from it. Piles of junk, mostly boxes of old paints and scraps of picture frames, Mixed in were wires, cardboard, and some dubious-looking old clothes. George Stobart. Ah, Monsieur Stobart. I trust you have obeyed my instructions not to leave Paris. Of course, Inspector. Good. You clearly know which side your cookie and butter is. Now, I require your presence tomorrow at the murder scene for a reconstruction. I see. Twelve o'clock sharp, monsieur. Or, as you would say, high noon. Uh, sure. Any failure to comply and I shall have you extraordinarily rendered. Have a nice day now. And you? That was Nave. We're required back at the gallery tomorrow for a crime scene reconstruction. Let me guess. Non-attendance is a criminal offense? You got it. I had found just what I needed. Two lengths of wire. engine bay was a mess. I snipped the wire in half. The wire was just long enough to connect the battery to the horn.
I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. Everything was wired up. The horn had power. I figured that should get Hobbs' attention. All right, hold your blooming horses. What are you up to with my van? Hello there. Uh, we fixed your horn. So I hear. Now what are you doing in my yard? Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. We're from the model agency. About blooming time. I'm on a deadline. You better come up. About time you two showed up. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. I was just wondering if... Ah, 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 can it, Goldilocks? I don't have time for chit-chat. Just get undressed behind that screen. Undressed? That was the deal. An extra twenty quid, cos I need you with your kit off. The studio was freezing. And as for you, darling, no need to get undressed. I've got a vivid imagination, so I'll just use that. Either way, just go sit over there on that rug and give me your best belly pock floozy. That's perfect. Just hold it there. Nico made for a good distraction. I just needed to figure out how to get a look inside that portfolio. My, my! If it isn't George Stobart! Lady Piermont! Oh, my! You're... Naked? Of course! As an artist's muse, one often finds oneself en pelotas. Now, George, don't be shy. Come here and give me a big hug. That day was the day the nightmares had begun. Trapped, smothered, choking on lavender. Uh, George, darling, pass me my robe. It's terribly cold in here. Oi! What are you doing with a blooming robe on? God help me, but you're supposed to be naked. I've got a deadline to meet. Well, you won't be meeting any deadlines with manners like that. And besides, it's freezing in here. Lady Piermont and I had met before. She was larger than life, in every way. Hey! Leave that dial alone. The heating gobbles up all the power and the circuits can't take it. Sorry. I turned the thermostat down again. Wow, an old Boffson Wang stereo. I hadn't seen one of those for years. I turned the volume up a few notches.
Hey, stop meddling with that. The power's ropey enough as it is. Blowing the power would certainly have distracted Hobbs, but the elevator alone wasn't going to trip the whole system. Variety of liquor bottles, all empty. How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? Oh, don't mind if I do. Lady Puma. Oh, George, be a darling and sort the heating out in here. I'll see what I can do. Uh, George, sweetheart, could you do something about the heating in this place? Hey! I told you, don't mess with that thermostat. Sorry, but Lady Clumont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkey isn't here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. Lady Clumont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heat. Well, we'll soon see about that. If you do not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Lady Pumont, it's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what old buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. Whoa, Lady Pumont, let's not be too hasty. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps you can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh. Oh, go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. I turned the thermostat up as far as it would go. I wondered if the suspicious wiring could be used to my advantage. A word if I may, Lady Pumont. For you, George. I'm all ears. How can I help? Lady Pumont, we need your help. How oh, thrilling! What do you need? Subterfuge? Pleasure to me? Um, actually, I just need you to step on that lift behind you. Oh, but of course. Is this good, George, darling? Perfect. Now, just stay right there. I needed a better idea. That would be pointless.
Now was my chance. Impressionist sketches. Well, it wasn't the Maledictio, but it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. What the heck? I told you that portfolio was private. Huh? Well, that was fun. Just like when you were a private dick, George. So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. So what the blaze is it you're doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of a painting, La Melodexio, by the Spanish artist El Serp. One of these sketches is a study of that painting. Well, sure, but what's that got to do with that? I'm a restorer, and I restored it. I've got nothing to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look, he and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. We're not accusing you of anything, Mr. Hobbs. We just want to get to the bottom of this. I get that. And I'll help you however I can. But this mess is way above my pay grade. We have reason to believe that Madalski is mixed up in a theft of La Melodexio. Eh? What would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Madovsky has a full set of provenances for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention it? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Or had them. And Henri is dead. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you, get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to interrogate. Someone's lying, but who? Is it the gangster or the old Spaniard? The painter or the art critic? I need to head back for Nave's reconstruction. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think I should. And I can put the squeeze on Lane. Ask him about the provenance. Good. I've got lunch with Ronnie tomorrow. This story is hurting up, and I want to make sure he keeps me on it. Taxi! <laughs> 